so this is the top shelf or not even a shelf just the top of my bookshelf and the first thing I'll show you here is like a lock this is supposed to be a bookmark given to me by my friend two years ago but um, I have too many bookmarks so it was so nice and classic so I just use it like a design but if I need a bookmark I just use this um, over here is a Japanese postcard um, it's supposed to um, at the back of it it has my name my English name written in Japanese and um, it, I went to the Jap Expo like the travel Expo and they had this Japanese culture thing so of course I won't show you the back because it has my name but they gave me this beautiful postcard um, this is a Hermione statue and if you watched my video that I uploaded I think this early February um, I got this from Japan as a souvenir there was a Harry Potter shop um, this is a solar powered lamp so I normally need this like there because whenever I open my window there's always sun so it's currently charging so it runs on solar sunlight um, over there it's a picture of me supposedly in my Hogwarts uniform um, it's from when I went to the Warner Brothers studio door in London but of course I won't show you that here um, this is a trivial person it's Harry Potter trivia I got it from Canada from I don't even know it's just a bookstore a big bookstore um, the red thing there um, it's a certificate for completing a math program so yeah it has my full name so I won't also show it to you here is another solar powered lamp um, there's two of them so normally I would um, use, use it um, in case there's brownout since there's like no electricity and I'll show you oh god so it this is how bright it is it's very very bright that's why we like to use it whenever there's like um typhoon because normally the, the thunderstorms would always cause electricity brownout um next thing over here is just a it's my harry potter passport it's also from the studio tour it's basically like a souvenir for free and I like, got stamps and stuff so I was able to stamp in every corner and lastly we have this it's, a, it's like the postcard because I went in another year for the Japanese Expo so they also had my name written in Japanese so this is how the top shelf looks like over here we'll start my collection of books so this might be like so I'll just show you the first thing this first one is a storybook it's called the wheel song so I've had this storybook when I was a kid and I really um, love this storybook that I still kept it next um, is a descendants magazine so I really I don't know, this is the first Descendants movie so I really love, I fell in love with it so I got myself the magazine of it and I just like kept it. Next um, is the Beauty in the Leap Beast where Emma was still so I got it because it has a lot of posters of Emma Watson and it's, she's really pretty when she was in Beauty in the Beast. So the only reason I got this magazine was because of her. Next, ah, ah. wow, this is heavy. Okay, okay, okay. This is a Harry Potter film wizardy. Um, this is like one of my Harry Potter collection. It tells details about the the scenes, um, the characters, the shoots, and they have like free, you know, stuff. I'll show. You. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. So this is the Marauder's map so it came 
and of course I'm keeping it there because I don't want to break it so next um here I have the JK Rowling Wizarding World Movie Magic so this is the Fantastic Beast plus Harry Potter and they have another two or three books about I think it's the classes and the animals and stuff so I still have yet to collect them but currently my bookshelf is full so I don't know if I can collect more next um this is one of the this is the book that my parents gave to me for my birthday last year this is Harry Potter a journey to a history of magic the one that was released last year um, I didn't get the very hard copy because it was really expensive it's like twice the price of this so I just got this and I'm still grateful because I don't care if it's hardcover as I just read the book next um, I have um, this is Seraph oops, 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 oops. this is the Seraphina series I got this two years ago um, this is one of the um, presents my aunt and uncle gave and this is also one of my favorite book series I seriously fell in love with this um, this is the Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Other Stories by Lewis Carroll. It was also given to me as a birthday gift by my other aunt. So, this is really a classic book and I love reading it from time to time. Next book I have here is The Fall of the Butterflies. I got it when I was in 7th grade and I forgot to read it. It's just been sitting on my bookshelf for a long, long time. Most books here have been sitting for also a long time. Um, let's go with the books first. Noteworthy. This is one of the books that I got from my home from the National Bookstore Warehouse sale. And um, I'm halfway through this book and I can and I tell you it's um really good. It's just that the start seems a little boring, but um the climax still on next um here's this book, it's called Lost It by Kristen Tracy, also from the National Bookstore Warehouse Sale. And I've read this book and let me tell you I thought it would have a happy ending. It didn't. I'm also satisfied with the ending. Um, just to spoil you, the ending, um, she didn't get together with the guy. Instead, she um, accepted her mistake with the guy and like moved on. So that's where like it stops. It's like a cliffhanger, but I think I'm satisfied with it. Next book. American Panda. So I've also loved this book. I've also finished reading this. Um, I can't tell you. It is so, so good. I, I can relate so much with her because I grew up in a Chinese household. The problem, the only difference is she's in the US, I'm in the Philippines, so we migrated to different countries. Yes, next one of my favorites. Every book is my favorite. It's called Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And um, I recommend you guys, if you're into like love stories and stuff, or just you, you better read this because it's also, it's, how can I describe it? It is so, so good. Next, um, it's called, this is one, also one of my favorites. Um, it's called Fangirl um, by Rainbow Bowell. Um, here, um, 13 Reasons Why. I didn't like it that much, you know. I was wanting to go for a more thriller story, but I didn't like it that much. But I still like reading it, but it just wasn't my thing. The next one, oh god, um, The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon, so this is the movie tie-in. 
I wasn't able to get the original because I was broke. So when I was able to afford it, it it, it was in the movie tie-in and it was like more expensive than the original one just because of the movie tie-in. So I also recommend you guys to read this book and after that maybe you can go watch the movie along with also the everything everything because they also have a movie about it but I suggest you guys read it to know more about the plot because sometimes in the movie they don't show the whole story. Next one I got um Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children this is the first one and to be honest I wasn't that much of a fan during the first few chapters it was like during the climax that I really like it and I also enjoyed the movie although it was also missing bits and pieces but this was a Christmas gift um, from my friend okay This is meant to be. I also got it from the National Bookstore um, warehouse sale and I haven't also read this. I have a lot of unread books but I will update you there. Now here's another book. I also didn't read this. Um, it's Same Difference by Shokan Vivian. You might have known her from author to this. I also haven't read this book but I'm looking forward to it. Next one is A Little Friendly Advice by Shotgun Vivian again and haven't also read this but excited. Next book is A Summer to Die by Joyce Lowry. He's also the author of The Giver which I incredibly love but I'm missing the book. I've been looking for that book. So this is one of his stories. I also haven't read it yet. Um, here, these are the books that my dad got me when I was 10. Um, he went to Canada and bought this book. The first one was The Secret Garden. I think all of you know this and this is also one of my favorite classic all time. Um, here, it, this one is oops, A Little Princess. Um, this is also a very nice classic book. I've watched, I don't know how many types of movies of this, but it's still one of the best classics that I love. Um, lastly, this is a badge. Um, this is like our batch, badge. Um, it, our batch name is called Travail. I think it has something to do with starry skies and nights, but I got this when um, I went to prom. This is, um, I got this during in China. Oops. I got this in China. This cute pig from, I don't know, I forgot what toy, but it's from Toy Story. And it's just a miniature statue that I just got from like a... You know the one where you put the coin and like you twist and then you get a toy? Yeah. Um, this is a Totoro puzzle. I haven't even completed this. But I got it last year for my birthday and this is so cute. I might, if I finish this, I might um, frame it and put it somewhere in my room. Now this one is my Hufflepuff badge. I got it from the Warner Brothers Studio tour. London so this was one of the things and of course because I'm a Hufflepuff I have to get my own badge um, I also got this it's also from the making of Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studio 2 and I got two Hufflepuff bookmarks um, I have two bookmarks that I had since then so I don't know where I got it but these are magnetic so this is how the first one looks like This is how the second one looks like. And um, lastly, oh, I wasn't able to show it to you guys, but you might have seen the. Yeah, 
here. This is um this is for free. They just gave it because during the time I went, there was like the goblet of fire, so I was able to grab a picture. And they gave me this like it's like a bookmark. I also sometimes use it, but I'm careful with it since it can break easily. So that's what the top of my shelf looks like. So the next we're on the second shelf. So the first set I'll show you is the Hunger Games. I got the whole box set and it's on a special edition. Um, I got it this year as a gift for completing junior high school. So yeah. The next book I have here is the Book Thief and this is absolutely a good book so I recommend you guys to go read it. Um, it's set during the time of the Nazi, the Nazi, I don't know how you pronounce it, sorry. The Nazi and absolutely adore this. Not enough pages and I just cried at the last the last chapter you would know if you check my instagram regarding this book review the next i have is the little women and good wives um oh yeah whoever you guys have to read the little women right now because on december i heard emma watson is gonna be in the little women um, I've seen her Instagram and she was like posting photos like one of the characters so I've read it before like three years ago and I would have to read, read it up again because I think I forgot most of the plot but make sure to read because I know it was a very nice classic. The next um, I have here is Mean Girls. It's like the movie novelization of it. So I don't even know why I got this. It was just like on a sale, like 80% off. So like, why not? I have another one, Girl Against the Universe. Um, I haven't also read it, but willing to also try it. I need more time to read. Next book is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Ronald Ro Roald. Sorry if I can't pronounce, but I read this in 15 minutes and it was really a story time. I remember um, reading this when I was a kid, but I never got to watch the movie of it. And my sister is currently reading it for her school. So like we we got we bought one book of this because of her school. And she just like left it in my bookshelf because she knows how much I love books. Next I have here is Wonder. Um, guys, you have to read this book. I'm actually going to tell you to read all of the books that I get. But you have to actually read this because it's like... It's like you have to know that bullying is not good. Um, even if someone's different, don't judge them by their physical looks. Judge them by their inner self. And that's one of the lessons you will learn from Wonder. It might be a kiddie book, actually, but adults should also read it because they would learn more lessons. Next I have here is Am I Normal Yet? by Holly Bourne. And I also got it from the National Bookstore Warehouse sale. And to be honest, I haven't even read this book yet. Okay, so I cannot... But this is some fire song. Um, I can't show you the the cover of it because it has my name. Or wait, can I blur it out? I might be able to. I might be able to blur it out. So here. Um, this was my reading book for sixth grade, and I absolutely love it because it tells like a girl, uh, the relationship between the girl and a horse and. You know, I love horses and that's why one day I want to like do more horseback riding but I'm in a city, not in a county. Um Oh no 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 Oh god oh god oh god Okay next book I have is the Harry Potter Curse Child and people say it's bad but 
I'm I'm like so so. This is like a so so. I haven't even watched the play yet, but I'm interested in watching the play. Um, if there's one in Melbourne, there's one in New York, there's one in London, and there's one opening in Toronto in 2020. So one of the schools that I'm applying to is for the University of Toronto. So maybe if I get in, maybe I can have a chance to watch the play. But most people say you have to go watch it in London because it's the best. But the tickets price that I went to London, it was really, really expensive. So like I didn't want to waste money because um, it's either I go to the play or I go to the studio tour and I chose the studio tour. Just a minute. Okay, I'll just have to... This is Edward's Eyes. I read, I read it in fifth grade and honestly, it's a tear jack for, for a book for kids. It's like a... This is a sad story. Um, I'll show you here. This is the hypnosis. Okay, and now I have to hurry up because my battery is low. I like, forgot to charge my camera. Um, this is Shug. I haven't read it, but I also got it from the National Bookstore Warehouse Sale. This one also. Um, Nightbird. One of. I haven't also read it. I just also got it from the sale. Ella Enchanted. Haven't read it too. But also got it from the sale. This one. For American Girl since I loved it before. Even though it's kiddie, I don't care. But I also haven't read it. What have I done this past summer? I have another one for A Little Princess, the other storybook, but this is in a Filipino version. This one is The Prince and the Pauper. Also loved this before. This one is A Tale of Two Cities. It's more of a classic, but I was interested before. It, it's not the whole story, it's the summarized version because I don't think I would understand it because it's more mature. Love and Profanity from the sale too, but I didn't get a chance to read it. Ah uh, yes, my neighbor. I also got this for my birthday last year. And I, I've read it and it's actually really, really good. Okay. Oh, and I found the book they gave her. It was in my bookshelf the whole time, but I recommend you go read it. So, wait. This is the whole thing. Um, this is To Kill a Mocking... Wait, it has my name. This is To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, this is what I have to read for my 10th grade and absolutely love it. I haven't read the... I haven't watched the movie but I'm excited because I fell in love. This is like I read it four times. Um, just a minute. Kite Runner. So we also have to read this book for 10th grade and I absolutely love it. Just like To Kill a Mockingbird. I read it around 3 to 4 times and honestly, both of these books brought me to tears. So that is all for the second shelf. Oh, and I also forgot to show you what's in the end of my book. So this is a letter. Um, from my class, from my friend because she's moving school, so she wrote me a letter as a like a goodbye letter. So of course I won't show you because it has my personal information. Um, this, this is like a jar, but it's filled like in our what's that guidance class? They told us to like make letters for our classmates to like um like as a personal motivation to keep going so I've kept all of the letters in my jar and my classmate or my friend she was so kind because she know that I love Harry Potter so much in her letter she gave like so many Harry Potter stickers like she just like gave it to me and said use it wisely and I'm like I don't want to use it because it's too pretty 
and I'm scared if I like spill water in it, it's like gonna fade. So I put it inside this jar. So like every time I feel like sad or demotivated, I'll just have to read um the letters. And the letters are not just from my classmates or friends; they're also from teachers. So I think that's one of the best things that I I one of my best memories. From 10th grade is making this because I also enjoyed writing lots of letters to motivate my classmates like how I motivate you guys to study. So this is the third shelf and I'll be showing you what's in there. So the first thing is like uh, this is my PLA project. It's like those Christmas lights, those small lights you have to put it up there and we have and we have like a battery and wire so we're supposed to make it light up. So um, I'm just keeping it since we might be using it. I don't know when. Next one is my flashcard holder, and currently there's no flashcards because I'm in summer break. So I'll just show you what's inside. So it's like it's very spacious. It has you can organize it for like up to six stuff. So mainly I use this for science. Um, Biology, Chemistry, Physics, um, Geometry, English, Filipino, History, Economics, Chinese. So I mainly put them in here and I normally leave it at home because I study them here. But if I like want to review at school, I just bring this with me. Next are my SAT review books. Um, this one is the SAT review book that I just finished for this year which i'm gonna take on october um five i think um these two are the sat books of 2010 which were given to me by my cousin since she just finished the sat and she she had nothing to do with it so she just gave it to me so even though like the sat right now is different than before um uh i used this for like practice test um she also gave me the sat literature but i have no use like if I want to take it so I don't even know what to do with this maybe I should um, give it to my other cousin whenever I finish the set um, this is my introduction to calculus book um, I have it since 9th grade so like I've been like um, it's like I want to get ahead of calculus but compared to my school these ones are like the exercises are very easy it's just like it builds your foundation this is the PSAT practice test um, and this is the PSAT student guide so these were given to me by my school just kept it there these are two notebooks not using um, this one is a like a math formula book so all the math stuff that you need to know it's all in this book um, English grammar book and these plus that um, is part of my notebook so you'll be seeing a glimpse of what's in it's gonna be my like school supplies for this year so this is for math science um english filipino um there's one in here history or economics i don't know which i'm gonna pick um this is chinese and ce which is religion so all of them are b526 ring i normally get my papers from I want since they're much cheaper and my aunt um, normally ships a lot of stuff from my one so I just like put also put her address in so when shipping from Taiwan comes my stuff's also there. Um let's see. Ah oops. Um here oh wait just a minute. Um this is one of it. It, I don't even know why it's on my bed, but this is like a banner. It's similar to my current one. It's just a slight different design, but same layout. So, it looks like this. So, normally I'll be using it as a to do list since um, they don't have a monthly planner. Then, this one. This one is the same as my pink one. Um, I'll just show you. I I currently don't have my pink one. And it also comes with 
the sticker pack. I got this last year for my birthday. So this is just how the sticker looks like. Um, it's tinted yellow because it was, I think when you leave it for a long time, it will be like that. But I think the quality of the sticker should be the same. And it comes in this cute little box. God, it's cute. So basically, it's also by Paper Stone, and look, it's, it's exactly the same as my other one. So here, yeah, so it's exactly the same as um, my pink one. So I'll be using this um, next year, unless like my. My aunt said she's gonna go to Starbucks. She's been drinking a lot of Starbucks, so she might give me the planner, the 2020 Starbucks planner. Well, I don't know, but this is like my backup because she doesn't like to use the planner. She just likes drinking Starbucks, but gets them for free. Um, in here, um, what I just have like these binder clips. See, these are just binder clips. I I have them for like storing papers. So nothing much. Here, um, this is my envelope. This is where I put long bond and bond paper since it's the only slice that fits. Um, I got this from my aunt la two, three, two to three years ago for a birthday present. So yeah, this is what I also gonna bring to school. Um, this one, yeah. This is like a file folder basically um, I store like my how do you call this I store my test papers here yeah, my dad just gave me this because he found it in his office and he didn't need it so normally I just store my test papers but before I used to store like practice worksheets and this is where I will also like put my drills and stuff but since um, I have my own note, I have like my own notebooks before, like practice notebooks, and I, I didn't need them anymore. So like here, I'll just, see they still have binder clips, so I'll just show you one. Let's get my mat. So like this is all the paper from school. This would be the scoring board. I was in grade seven because we didn't like we had we weren't in iPad yet. So yeah. So currently that's all for this shelf. So now we're in the last part of the shelf, which is the lower shelf. So I'll be showing you this. This um. This is like before I used in grade 8. It's like a. It's supposed to be like a clear book, but I put so many because this is where like, I store all my scores for each, like, for each subject. So now I'm not even currently using them. Um, I just store stuff in here if it's like art stuff that needs to be submitted because sometimes you have you put an art portfolio. So yeah. Um, these are just dumbbells I've been using to strengthen my arms since doc my doctor told me. Oh, and this is um, my grade 8 project, the only project that I not I just throw away because I really loved it. So, um, for our grade 8, we had to make like a diary of like a World War II soldier, German soldier. So, of course, you know me, I would, um... I was very fascinated with World War II, so I really dedicated the project. So like, it still smells like coffee, and I, since it's like storytelling or diary entry, I made up like my own character. Like I actually had like a draft, what he is or who she is, name stuff, you know everything, just incorporated it here. So I'll just give you a look through. And I really painted it with coffee and it still smells like coffee. I can still smell it now. 
which cameras can also have like a smell sensor so what I did is like a crumpled in since it's gonna be an old diary I really crumpled it a lot as you can see they like cut me different weird cuttings and I just used tape and like painted it with coffee so the guy name I made was Adel Hard Herman it was also part of my dream so he's a German during Hitler's time so what I did is I made the draft on pages and um, I used Fonto for the hand for the font the handwriting um, then I crumpled it since it has to be really crumpled because it's old and like it's like a scrapbook like this is his letter the letter he received from his friend and this is his diary entry and those are like old pictures and my teacher told us to give a caption so the hardest part was actually finding the pictures because these pictures were sub were like captioned in German and so I had to like translate all my searches in German just to find these kinds of good pictures so that's actually what took the longest this is from his wife the letter So this is like a narration of the Battle of Stalingrad. I don't even actually remember anymore. Oh, and there's like... Wait. It's really sticky. Here. It still smells like coffee. Here's like newspapers, articles. Like you can flip. So this is like the end, I think, because yeah, Hitler's dead, so they had to surrender. And like it's really worn out, and I intentionally made it worn out. Because this is the only thing I'm good in art if it's like crumpled stuff. Like I can do paper mache. This is his scrapbook when he was young. I just got I just searched like German baby of boys like alone so I act this was also hard to find there weren't that much where it was grayscale so I had to like photo edit most of these but they really turned out great um, I can show you the next page I know I can still show you so like after that um. And I can't show you this because these are like the scoring parts. But like overall, my teacher gave me a perfect on the project, which I was technically happy because I put so much hard work. Okay, so these are my binders um, starting ninth grade. So the first white binder, uh, there, that's my math honors. So I stored all of my math test papers, practice exercises, and notes since um, it will be useful for the notes and the test papers for 10th grade if any. This is for the science and I kept all of my, what do you call it, um, my biology, physics, and chemistry. It actually fits all of the practice exercises and notes considering I had a lot of biology and chem. Um, this is, I didn't have any binder for English Filipino history because I did the lessons there weren't that needed much it's much more common sense so I didn't even bother with the binder this is the 10th grade binder for English Filipino history this is my math 10 honors um this is also my science 10 honors and these are the ones that I these two are the ones I bought from the national bookstore my school supply shopping blog so you have to check it out um, this this one is much bigger, so I think this will be more for science or math. This will be more for the English Filipino history and either math or science. And this one's a too small binder, but this was a binder I used because of a project. So my teacher required it, so yeah.
um, these are just all like echo bags I just kept in there so that's the end of my bookshelf tour so I hope you guys enjoy it and comment down below what books are your favorite and what's your must have in a bookshelf so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video and make sure to tune in to next week's video because dun -dun -dun, it's a school supply shopping vlog plus the next next video will be my what's in my backpack so stay tuned